Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a little bit different than what I normally share on this channel. I've been getting quite a few questions about how I lost a lot of weight. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit uncomfortable to film, but at the same time I think it's extremely important that I do talk about it because I think the people that follow me for a while will have seen this change and that's why I've been getting these messages like, oh, how did you manage to lose X amount of weight and I'm gonna talk about numbers a little bit later in the video because I just kind of want to share um, my experience with weight loss in general I think to begin with and then share where I'm at right now so first of all um, if you're watching me for the first time I just want to put out a very I guess important fact I don't know if it's very important but it seems important to me so I'm Lithuanian and I feel like a lot of women especially in East Europe have this weird pressure to look thin like I noticed when I was a teenager that guys would make um, comments like just guys in school like oh you're looking bigger or oh you're so thin or whatever it is you know so I don't know how it is in like other parts of the world but I just really feel like there's this I don't know just culture of almost like body shaming women a lot and um, I mean agree to disagree I don't know how it is now but when I was growing up back in the that's what I went through so I remember even for example my PE teacher would be like oh you need to do this exercise because there's a little bit of like belly fat or whatever and at that time it's probably like 50 kgs you know as a um, I don't know 12 years old girl so it's really weird to get such remarks but I remember they like stuck with me I do recall that when I was a teenager I tried to take apple cider vinegar pills already even though I was definitely not having any weight issues and I remember trying um, some sort of moon diet I think Lithuanians will know what I'm talking about so it used to be a diet that was going around a lot and you kind of like eat like two boiled eggs for breakfast and you have something small uh, two hours later then two hours later you have some snack like nuts or I don't know like some fish with a side of veggies or whatever it was so it's like very portion very controlled very specific meals every couple of hours and then you finish the evening with like green tea and for adults it was more like I don't know a glass of red wine or something so I tried that and I remember it worked I lost like a couple of kgs and I was like okay great by the way I totally forgot to mention like a trigger warning that I'm going to be talking about numbers and I'm also going to include some pictures because you know my body went through a lot of different changes in life so obviously that affected how I looked or felt in that specific period so I'm going to be addressing for the most part just my 20s but I wanted to build that background as to where I come from and you know what was my perspective on weight i was never really obsessed i i caved into these things once or twice and that was about it i never really cared um what other people said too much like i always ate whatever i want like i would come home from school and i'd eat like large pizza that i would make by myself so it would always have like like some feta or olives or like um i don't know pickles or mushrooms whatever at that time i don't remember eating meat for like other reasons but yeah, so I would eat like large portions to the full satiety and never like starve myself aside from those few times that I was on a diet for two weeks. But I always enjoyed food. I've always loved eating, you know, as every teenager eats. I would always love having chips or Nutella sandwiches, whatever it was that, you know, we ate back in the day. I totally enjoyed it and I did not restrict myself. Then things started changing, I think in my 20s, a little bit because I was exposed to, I would say, different cuisines. Because like I grew up in Lithuania until I was 17, I moved away and I turned 18. So I think around that time is when I was exposed to different cuisines. So I started like uh, trying like Indian food, I started trying like burgers and things like that you know like it's not like I never had a burger before but it was never something I ate frequently because I don't know back home I just didn't really have the money I guess for it to go out and eat as a you know as a teen and, and as an adult when you get a job or I don't know as a student you start to kind of like have you know some spare money here and there and you treat yourself to certain foods that I wasn't able to eat you know when I was a teen so I feel like that definitely had an impact on my body because especially when I moved to Dubai I was 21 that opened the whole world of opportunity in terms of you know gastronomy gastronomy field in general is really really big in the uae i feel like restaurants compete a lot and that's why influencers or like content creators such as myself we get a lot of invites to eat at restaurants for free it's great don't get me wrong i love trying new food but that can definitely take a toll on your body and you cannot always be eating sushi and chocolate fondue and whatnot you have to definitely look out for your health there was a couple of times when i was a flight attendant that i was shame for eating large portions i don't know if i've ever mentioned this in my video about flying but um i do remember a couple of times where a male senior would address me like oh watch out don't eat so much you know it's gonna impact your body and i was like what excuse me like who are you to tell me how much i should be eating if i'm hungry i'm gonna eat till i'm 
you know, full and satisfied. So anyways, I remember being really upset because it was never really girls talking about such things. It was always like guys making these remarks and that's what kind of like stuck with me a lot. Even to this day, I feel like I eat quite a lot. I don't really measure portions. Um, maybe I'm now a little bit more picky about what I eat. As cliche as it sounds, I think it's very important to eat what you enjoy. I personally really love eating salads and you know nobody would have to force me ever to eat a kale salad like that's something i would generally order at a restaurant or make at home because i i truly love it but i do also eat a lot of junk food and that's why i'm like a very very normal person i would say i don't do extremes where i only eat burgers or only eat incredibly like healthy foods i think i have a really good balance when it comes to food the only thing that has changed right now is that i started intermittent fasting so it wasn't really intentional because i've always been a person that eats breakfast but something switched inside of me like about a year and a half ago i was working full time in downtown in dubai in the office so i would leave early in the morning i'd grab a large coffee and while i'm driving to work i'd just be si sipping on that coffee and whenever i feel hungry i'd just break out early like 12 or so and have a big big lunch before i'd always eat whether i wake up at 6 whether i wake up at 4 a.m whatever it was the time i had to wake up uh throughout my old 20s i would always eat breakfast but just in the last year and a half i started like not wanting to eat the first thing that I when I wake up so I think that has had a huge impact on my current weight and also another thing that has had a massive impact on my current weight is giving up alcohol I've been very vocal about it I would say on Instagram so those of you who follow me for a while will know that I gave up alcohol so right now it's been I would say about seven months and it's like second time that I've given it up for such a long time there was a period in my 20s where I gave it up for a year and then I started consuming alcohol again and now I give it up for you know seven months almost I think obviously it goes without saying that alcohol has a lot of calories and if you eat whatever you desire which was kind of the case for me here um, I ended up gaining a lot of weight so I realized that something needs to change the moment I stepped on a scale when I was in Lithuania getting my eye surgery and I saw the numbers and I was like whoa this is the heaviest I've ever been so when I moved to Dubai I was around I would say 62 63 kgs and when I was a flight attendant I started eating a lot of like foods uh, in different cultures and different countries and stuff and I think I ended up weighing around 68 or 69 kgs approximately and I think that's where my weight kind of like stabilized when I was at a very low weight I would say I was at 61 62 kgs and then when I kind of was at my normal weight it was around 69 maybe 70 kgs and by the way that is the weight that I am now I'm currently like 71 70 two at times it obviously fluctuates a little bit but the heaviest that i ever was was when i was in lithuania for my eye surgery and that was 88 i want to say or maybe 87 i don't know but it was very very heavy and i was like whoa so clearly that took me by surprise because i never really paid that much attention i mean i would see at the doctors how much i weigh or at a friend's because i never even owned a scale up until maybe two years ago or something where i was like okay i need to figure this situation I, I don't think i was ashamed of how i looked i know i was going through a lot emotionally like i was not in a good mental place and i think that also has a huge impact on the way you know you look or how much you weigh a year and a half ago i think i was maybe 82 81 that's where i started like slowly going down in weight and I started skipping breakfast but again it wasn't really intentional it was more like my body stopped craving it and I just would consume caffeine first thing which I know is not necessarily healthy on the empty stomach but it's still something I do to this day and I just I don't know that's how my body functions right now so um, I started doing that and again wasn't really restricting what I ate during the day or how much I ate of it you know one day could be a lot of pizza the next day it could be like steak and veggies the next day it could be like I don't know chicken with some potatoes or something i didn't follow like a specific diet i think the only time where i was like you know what i kind of wish i could go back to that 70 weight was actually about five six months ago maybe a little bit more when i was in the usa and i gave up alcohol in september and i was like you know what this is a good time for me to focus on me and i decided to prioritize protein intake so i started buying like yogurts with protein i started eating like a lot more salmon i started uh, buying protein um, to make as a shake um, and i started like i made even a video of what i was buying in the usa like low sugar like alternatives um, even now for example i have in my fridge like a nutella but it's not really a nutella it's actually like coconut oil 
and stevia based sort of spread which is kind of like a nutella and it tastes amazing and i'm honestly way happier eating you know coconut oil than i don't know whatever goes into nutella i started just prioritizing like a little bit healthier options like low sugar options and i know a lot of people are not pro intermittent fasting or like low carb sort of lifestyles i totally understand why you know some people with more knowledge on nutrition would say that but for me personally it worked ultimately my goal was not to necessarily go down to my previous pre Dubai weight that's still not the goal uh, I think the goal is just to eat whatever feels good intuitively which is like you know not having breakfast necessarily although today for example I just came from a staycation we stayed in a nice hotel and obviously you know breakfast buffet is so inviting so I had breakfast but naturally at home when I wake up I don't have breakfast and it's not because I'm trying to restrict myself it's because I generally wake up I'll have a coffee and then I'll start working around noon for me all these elements kind of came together which is giving up alcohol prioritizing protein intermittent fasting and it all just kind of like you know made the impact on um, my weight loss really so I ended up losing if you look back to like say two two and a half years ago uh, I was at my heaviest which was 80 I don't know six i can't really quote exactly um to now being like 71 which is like literally about 15 kgs it was really just me like looking at myself and i'm like mm, i don't really like how i look that much it wasn't really about even how i felt i think i was just enjoying my life like i was going to ladies night drinking prosecco on a tuesday or whatever just having a good time i just didn't mind ever what anyone said i think it just kind of like shocked me the numbers a little bit i was like oh i don't think i'm living very healthy if i'm at this weight right now because i was never this weight you know what i mean and i think that's why now i'm at my weight where I don't have to like restrict myself really and I just eat what I want and I listen to my body. I will say though that I started challenging myself in the gym a little bit more. I used to mostly stick to yoga whereas now I kind of like try reform and pilates. I try to do it maybe once a week so that has made a huge impact especially like on the core strength and generally I feel like it targets such different muscle groups than like yoga would um, so I've been very very happy about the results that reform and pilates has brought about and also sometimes I go to like high intensity classes which i hate i went to one yesterday for example and i hate it i don't like running i have running shoes and all but i'm like Ugh, it's just I, I get super red i get out of breath i don't know i just don't feel like i'm the running type girl so uh kudos to everyone who is able to run more than one kilometer because after 1k i'm just finished absolutely finished i don't even stick to regular working out like four times a week five times a week i'm not that person I just make sure to move my body a couple of times a week if I can and if not that's totally cool um, I just do what feels good to me I still cannot do pull up I cannot do push-ups I cannot do none of that so I'm still very very weak I would say in my body but I do have some muscle mass you know nothing too crazy still have a little bit of fat here and there and I, I also want to say that for example when I had my Emirates uniform I was like a size Eight, and I had I think a size 14 or like 16 on my skirt so almost a double so it might look like I actually don't weigh 70 kgs because every time somebody's asked me on Instagram oh how much you weigh or whatever people would be like whoa you don't look like you weigh 70 so like 70 is my normal weight I would say I do have a very I would say petite upper body part and then quite curvy uh, bottoms that's kind of my story I think this video has been all over the place I just wanted to share you know where I've been in my 20s in terms of weight 65 I would say then I reached almost 70 and that's where it stabilized for a couple of years and I think when I started eating whatever I wanted and consuming alcohol on a you know very frequent basis I reached 85 or 86 so that was my heaviest so that's a lot of fluctuation anyways I just wanted to be honest with you guys and share what was my secret which is not really a secret and tell you that you know what worked for me might not necessarily work for you but i would say listen to your body make sure you give it the right nutrients go for checkups make sure you stay hydrated make sure you sleep well make sure your stress levels are okay because that also has a huge impact on the way you look and feel if you have any questions please let me know i'll be happy to chat to you guys in the comments below i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like leave a comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye